Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, I forgot to record an intro and I think also an outro for this video, so um, don't come for me. I'm still here though. Today's video is going to be on how I achieve my wash and goes. This is very simple, very straightforward, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm starting off by sectioning out my hair and applying coconut oil to each section. Just, you know, getting that in there, rubbing it in, and making sure I get those ends also. Then I twist and wrap it up into a bantu knot to put it out the way. And I'm going to go ahead and do that to each section. So now that we've got to the section that we want to start working with, go ahead and grab your spray bottle and start to dampen the hair up just a little bit so that um, it's easier to detangle. A little bit more so the curls can be more defined and also because you know as time goes on it probably got dried out so now we're applying our coconut oil and spreading that all throughout our hair making sure once again to get those ends the little um, method that I'm doing is called shingling and at least I think that's what it's called but yeah now I'm taking my um, leave-in conditioner and also my styler um, everything that I'm using will be listed in the description bar, so yeah, don't feel like you're missing out on anything. But yeah, this method, I think, is, I believe it's called shingling, and it's basically you press your hands together and just glide them down your um, hair. And it really does help to define your curls better, especially at the ends, I've noticed. Um, I've been doing this method for about, I want to say like three or four months now, and honestly, such a big difference. Now I'm grabbing my Eco Styler Gel, I don't care what anybody says, the olive oil one is superior to them all, and you know, you can at me if you want to. Right now I'm taking smaller pieces, just a little smaller pieces, and defining them just like that, just so that the curls can be like a little bit more clumped together. Normally, um, if you clump the hair now, when it's still wet, when it dries up, they'll be extra defined, that's another thing that I've noticed also. And yeah, I'm just going to continue this process all throughout my hair. This um, wash and go routine is super duper simple. And, um, you know, with my hair, I've noticed just the easier and the more simple things are, the more um, my hair responds to it. Like the lowest manipulation type styles are the ones that my hair likes the most. So yeah, just repeating everything over again. Um, water, coconut oil, and then leave-in conditioner, and then gel. It's just as simple as that. And also one of my tips for um, getting more volume at the root is not applying gel there because obviously gel makes the hair more defined. So by not putting it there, it'll be more poofy and more um, voluminous once the hair air dries. So it'll give you the illusion of already have picked out your hair and things like that when in reality you just skip a step <laughs> and already have the work done for you. The only part of my hair where I break that little rule or don't follow that little tip is when I get to the section of my hair where my part is going to be. That's where I do apply gel. I apply gel to the roots as well as my edges just so that it lays down nice and that the curls that are visible are nice and defined. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing right now and I'm also making sure to get the ends well enough too and you know continuing to do the whole process all throughout my head nothing's changing we're just doing this really simple um routine Oops. 
Now once I get to the top, I start doing them in smaller sections because the hair at the crown and at the front of my head is not as defined as the hair all over my head. Like it's a lot more frizzy than it is curly and I'm not really sure why like it. <laughs> it's really a mystery to me. So just to get it a little bit more defined and to make it look like you know it blends in and to have it cooperate, I do smaller um, pieces just so that it just looks nice all together. Now I'm just like um, pressing my hair, well not pressing it but like getting it all together and making sure that it's laying the way that I want it to and this part right here is optional you can most definitely air dry your hair um, but I like to blow or I like to blow dry my hair especially in the winter it just takes less time and um, the results I've noticed are pretty much exactly the same so to blow dry this is just really simple you just put the blow dryer there and just swing your hair all around and wait for it to get dry <laughs> like there's no rhyme or reason to how you should blow dry your hair especially if you're just drying it to get it to be dry like I don't know how to explain it but um there's no rhyme or reason um do this however you like to do it but um yeah this is just how I do it no specific way really And all that white residue that you see, once my hair is like completely dry, it'll all go away. Um, I noticed, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I noticed the combination of products that I use. It doesn't leave like a white, like flaky residue or anything like that. So yeah, that's not anything that I have to worry about. Like I said, it'll all, um, the white stuff will all go away once my hair is completely dry. And also at this time if you want to add that extra volume what you can do is you can go ahead and grab like a pick or a wide tooth comb and start picking out the roots or fluffing it out with your fingers just like how I'm doing just for that extra volume and then separating your hair and getting the blow dryer in um, in between just to make sure that everything is nice and dry and fluffy So yeah guys, like I said, this um, video was going to be really straightforward. My washing routine is very simple and I hope you guys liked it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to see some more videos from my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye!